What's going on everybody? It's Ryan Darks back with another video. Today we're going to be reviewing another pair of Saint Laurent boots that I was lucky enough to get. I know in the last video I said I would be reviewing some Saint Laurent boots that I've gotten so this is going to be piggybacking off of that. Today we're going to be reviewing the Saint Laurent suede jopper boot in the tan color. Very excited to have these. Uh, they're kind of a different boot that I usually wouldn't get before so kind of excited to, to share these these boots with you so with that being said let's get into the video so the boots come in this nice elegant looking bag very nicely well made I'm probably thinking about giving somebody a Christmas gift in this bag I'm not even gonna lie it's very nicely well made um, yeah perfect gift bag so I'll definitely keep it give it someone as a gift but as we get into the boots, this is the box that the boots comes in. Saint Laurent logo here again, nicely well made box. Some details about the box um, I didn't mention before was it kind of comes with the serial number here, um, the size of the boot and kind of the picture of the boot right here in this corner. And then this is just the price tag of it. And then here is just giving you a warning of any chemicals that may have been around the boot as it was being made. That's something that some stores want to make you aware of when purchasing something in certain states. So that's what that's for. As we open the box, as you can see, nicely constructed, very organized in the box. I, I like it. I like the organization. So one thing we have here, the very first thing is the receipt. And as I failed to mention before in the past video, it's probably a very good idea that you keep the receipt because you never know what could happen. The computers might go down or anything like that. Um, but when you want to use the warranty, say something happened to the boots, it's probably a good idea to keep the receipt so you can just give it to them and, you know, get your warranty instead of trying to prove to them you bought the boot without any evidence. So it just makes that warranty process a lot easier if you keep the receipt. So that's probably it something you should probably do. The next thing that's in the box is a booklet. Now this booklet contains a lot of tips about how to take care of the boots, especially a suede boot because it's very sensitive. But guys, I just want to let you in on a secret. I've never, I've never really read this book, but I was reading it recently and all of the points I recommend in the last video are in this booklet so I'm telling you guys nothing but the truth and all my tips so just know that so it also says in the booklet to put the boots back in the pouch after each use I have not read this booklet before but I just want to let you guys know i am give you very accurate information so this is another good thing to have just to let you know how to take care of the boots so the next thing that we have in the box are these very nice, well-constructed Saint Laurent dust bags that the boots come with. The bags are a very thick, nice quality material, very smooth. Um, just a very nice bag to have when you're putting these nice boots back into the pouch. I honestly think, guys, that when you're buying some highly crafted well-made footwear they should really have bags you should try to put them in a bag i just i think that's honestly one of the best ways to take care of them so it's a it's a big suggestion in my opinion so i i would highly recommend that you do that so as we get into the boot it's kind of like i said like a tannish brown color by the way i got a couple questions in the last video about what the term colorway means um, a lot of people thought I was referring to the term cutaway. That's not what I was referring to. Cutaway is just the color of the boot. That's all it is for anyone that was confused about it. It's just the color of the boot. That's all it is. And then for some brief history on the boot. So the Jopper boot actually originated in India. Came from a city named Jopper in India. Something I didn't know. That I thought was an interesting fact. So guys, we, when you come on this channel, we try to educate you as much as we can. I'm learning too as I go, so we're learning together. So it's, it's a great experience for the both of us. As we get into the suede of the boot, I love the color of these boots. Um, 
This is actually the first Jabba boot I've ever seen that's made of a suede material. Most of the Jabba boots I see are usually made of a leather material, but with the suede material it was made out of and the distinction of it, it was just a great pickup for me, I felt like. I also like how this boot sits up a little higher than most Jopper boots. Most Jopper boots I see don't come up this high, which is something I liked about this one. They usually cut off a little shorter around the ankle area here, which is something I don't like. I like my boots to sit up higher and go a little bit past the ankle, so that was another reason that I really like these as well. I like the Jopper design on these. I really like the uniqueness of this boot, especially starting with the X shape here. Most chopper boots that I see will have this strap here and then it'll just strap in the back here. I love this X shape though. It gives it more of a stylish, unique look. The boot kind of comes in two parts as well. So you have the buckle here and then the buckle has five holes in it that you can loosen or tighten which is something I like. I kind of like my boots a little tighter, but everyone might not like that. So with these boots, you kind of have an option as to how loose or tight you want to wear them. So as you unloosen the boot, you can see that these two parts divide in half basically, which makes it a lot easier to get in, especially along with the pull tab. As you know, Saint Laurent always has that pull tab on their boots. It just makes it a lot easier for your foot to get in versus like a Chelsea boot or a lace-up boot, something like that, where you kind of have to, it's just a lot harder to get your foot in. But I love the, the jopper boot here. It just makes it a lot easier to get your foot in along with, with that pull tab there. Also, as we get into the heel, guys, 30 millimeters, so we should know how many inches that is, right? from last week, 30 millimeters, about 1.2 inches. Guys, we're, we're always learning. We're learning together. I'm learning just like you are. So 30 millimeter heel, about 1.2 inches, which also gives it that additional height as well. So that's something to consider, which is something I like about them. I, I, like I said before, I don't really like a flat boot. I kind of like some thick sole or heel there. So that's another nice feature about this boot as well. I also do have a confession to make. Um, I did actually wear these boots once. I'm sorry, my deepest apologies, but guys, when you have a nice boot like this and it's just sitting there looking at you and you're looking back at it and it's looking back at you, you kind of know how that is. You sometimes give into that temptation. So I'm sorry, that's kind of what happened, but I am taking my own advice and I'm using those suede protectors and shoe trees and all that, like I've mentioned before, so. Just something to know. So just bear with me as I talk into the, about the bottom here. So as we get into the bottom of the boot, uh, it's all calfskin leather. Then it has a Saint Laurent logo here, made in Italy, and then the shoe size. And then the edges here are of a wooden material along with that heel. And then we have the little pad here for the heel as well to give the heel some additional protection. As we get to the back of the boot, kind of has a design here and then this back tab here which holds the X in place, that unique stylish X there. That's where the where it gives that X that shape. With you being able to unbuckle the boots as I said, um, just make sure you're careful with how you're you know, adjusting it because it is kind of a sensitive material here. So it's not something that you want to loosen too tight. Just be careful about how you're using that buckle because it is of a sensitive material. So one thing I noticed about this boot is it starts to come up from the bottom as a double stitch. And then as you get higher up to it, see how it's kind of loose right there. It goes into a single stitch. I'm not too sure why they made it like that. I think, me personally, it would have been a much better design if it was just a double stitch all the way up. But that's basically my only complaint with the boot. Other than that, I have no complaints whatsoever. Guys, this boot is very, extremely versatile. You know I'm always looking for colors and things that I can wear with a bunch of different, you know, pieces. Um, but this is one of them. But do you know one thing that 
these boots will look great with. Cuts t-shirts. Guys, Cuts just released their fall 2021 collection. They have a bunch of new great colors there. They have the Pacific blue, which is what I'm wearing right now. It's kind of like a navy blue. They also have Stratus, which is a grayish, bluish color. They have Coast, which is a bronze color. And then they also have Merleberry, which is a burgundy light red color. They have these in polos, t-shirts, v-necks, long sleeves, crew necks, sweatshirts, um, a bunch of different options for you guys. They have some great new colors for the fall coming up, so make sure you go check out Cuts. Also, make sure to use my discount code, Ryan underscore Darks, to get 15% off of any purchase. I'll leave the link in my description. Once again, with these nice quality boots, it's good to take care of them to the best of your ability. So using those dust bags, using the suede protectors, scotch guard, heel and toe protectors, sole guards, all those things. It's just a great way to make the boot last as long as possible. So make sure you guys are staying on top of that. Also, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification to be notified each time I drop a new video. A lot of you guys are watching the video and not subscribing, so make sure to subscribe. Helps me out. Also helps you guys out because I'm able to make videos consistently for you guys to enjoy. So make sure you subscribe. Also make sure to follow me on Instagram at Ryan underscore darks for fashion content. Post great pictures on there all the time. And I will be styling these very soon as well. Thank you so, so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm Ryan Darks. 